Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. We're gonna talk about tail lights. I don't have one. Tail lights on e-bikes. So this is my conversion. Heading for the last little bit of the wiring and, and organization on my conversion. And I wanna put on a tail light, but I'm finding some problems. So I'm gonna talk about how to wire the tail light, the problems I'm seeing, and then some some options, so let's dig into some close-ups on the bench. We'll describe the problems. Hey, David here, I'm breaking in real quick. That link I keep mentioning takes you to a step-by-step -step page. Picking the right bike, what's inside the kit, disassembling your bike, installing the motor, five steps for an e-bike wiring and components, putting your tail light on, routing and organizing, and then it goes into other items as well. Each one of these pictures you can click on is an article with, in this case, detailed instructions for installing the motor, what tools do you need, and then it includes a video. So I keep mentioning, go to that link below. This is why I've got it all organized in a nice, clean format for you to take you from start to end. All right, so from one of my other conversions, I've got my controller set up for a buffeting rear hub motor. What's nice is they include a headlamp um, power outlet. Snaps into the light that comes with it. It's not super bright, the headlamp that is, but to be able to operate this switch on the handlebars and turn on this light is super nice. Okay, here's a concern. Where in this setup do you put your tail light? There's no, no wiring for it. So what we're gonna have to do is actually splice into this output from the headlamp and add our tail light. So this is a pretty nice unit, waterproof. It's called the Vikey e-bike tail light, which is really nice about that. I'll include a link in the description. Works over a wide range of voltages. So. The voltage going to the headlamp is only about five, six volts. As I tested it, this will work at six volts all the way up to 60 volts. Again, I'm not using turn signal things. All I want is some visibility from behind. The pros of having this type of system and wiring it in like we're talking about, I'm gonna be able to turn it on and off with my thumb pad, right? Same time I turn that headlamp on, Bam, tail light's gonna go on. The con is I'm gonna have to snip off this line, this end, and solder it into this end on the bike itself. So if wiring up and soldering isn't what you wanna do, I put this on my wife's bike. It's called an Asher LED bike light set. This light is actually brighter. I mean, you would think this bigger thing would be bright. This guy is actually brighter in lumens, about 300 lumens, pretty bright. It's rechargeable with a USB, works real well. Comes with a small rechargeable tail light as well. Simply click that button, attaches onto the seat post or any other thing on the back of the bike, and you've got a tail light add some safety. It has a bunch of functions as well. Low, flashing fast, and faster. So that's a good option, the Asher LED light set. Again, I'll have that link in the description. Okay, so what do we need? So I got my tail light, small wrench for the bolts, nuts and bolts on the back. Uh, some clippers for my zip ties, a uh, needle nose, just never know when you need some needle nose, some zip ties, these ones are going to be for my rough kind of wire routing, some prettier wire routing, a couple of knives, I got some electric tape, some blue tape for uh, routing wires, temporary, I've got some shrink wrap tubing here, um, I'll use that as well. In the box under here is my soldering gun and then a 
heat gun for shrinking down my shrink tubing, right? So we're gonna put the light right here. And then my wires are gonna go from here. I think I'm gonna go underneath, zip tie it on. I got one spot here, got a crossbar back here, zip tie it down one of these stanchions onto here and then I'll follow my shift sensor wire down to my bundle and then eventually my next step will be to kind of clean up this whole setup here and then from there I'll be able to turn on my tail light and headlamp from my thumb pad so I'll probably do some fast forwarding Okay, with our soldering all done, it's time to mount our light. So with our light on, put our washers and our nuts on, and then we will start routing our wiring. So I think this is an eight millimeter. Yep, eight millimeter.
right, let's do our test. Snap those guys together. Take out the tripod here. Reach around, turn our battery on. All right, let's get some power. All right, hold the headlamp on. Good sign. See the light? Let's check our back. Oh yeah, baby. Gotta like having a tail light. We'll do a sight test at in the dark here in a second. 